Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the East Jam WF 42 Day Slash 6 week look for today's second video. We're focusing on the UK and Ireland uh, for this one, and I shall get to a bit for you in a moment. Just to say, but first, the video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've got Jeremy Friday coming up in a bit, and also a 10 to 14 day with all our red features, which shall be live at 10.30 tonight with the pub run so another epic day of content guys like a convey about one two <laughs> turn him about again for you uh today so i say please like share subscribe on all of today's videos and content and uh, thank you so much everybody for doing that thank you so to ecmdf.int for supplying the charts as well by the way thank you so much ECM. it's going to get us into early january 2024 what am i doing no one <laughs> <laughs> Early January 2024 um, with this one. Okay, let's get right. Let's start off with week one. Mean seal pressure anomaly taking us from the 27th of November to the 4th of December. This looks interesting. Wow, wow, wow. High pressure is blocking. To the north, low pressure to the south, and winds are in from the east next week. Are we unleashing <laughs> the beast? I wonder. 500 millibar height shows above average heights to the north, below average heights to the south. Winds should therefore be coming in from an east or a northeast direction. How's the temperatures looking next week? Oh, oh. It's colder than average, not just the UK and I, but most parts of Europe are actually cold, coming out colder than uh, normal there. Precipitation wise, we well, can see where the blocking high is, can't you? That's all up here where it's drier than average in the North Atlantic, around the Norwegian Sea, etc., 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 wetter than average to the south. Notice above average precipitation. For south and southeast, if 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 if, if, if it was cold enough, that deliver a little bit of snow. I wonder. Snow watch next week, maybe. Okay, week two will be before to be eleventh of December. Still looks interesting. High pressure again, blocking things out around Greenland and Iceland. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Low pressure. We should still be bringing the wind, really, from like an east or maybe uh, a rather northeasterly direction. What about 500 millibar heights next week? So we have above average heights again, centered around Greenland and into Canada, below average heights to the south. Winds again coming in from an easterly direction maybe 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 uh oh, i'm sorry, sorry um right so temperatures are colder than average again in the uk for ivory most parts of europe as well so uh, one to three degrees perhaps below normal in cold and that for scandinavia and nordic regions Oh, it's interesting, this, isn't it? Um, and as far as precipitation goes, drier than average to the north, wetter than average down to the south. So, uh, again, could back deliver maybe a little bit of snow into southern parts. Just if the air's cold enough, it's possible. Right, well, let's go <laughs> into week three. Three will be the 11th to the 18th of December. Oh gosh, look at this. We're getting closer to Christmas and the blocking's going away. Low pressure coming off the Atlantic. This is all very reminiscent of what happened last December, really, isn't it? So uh, that's looking milder and wetter, of course, with low pressure returning from off the Atlantic. 500 millibar heights again. Below average heights in the Atlantic. It looks like we're reverting. Back to a westerly or a southwesterly flow. Look at that big flip around in the temperatures going slightly above average now. And you'd expect it to be wetter. Yes, it is. Look at this. Above average rainfall. All looking rather ominous for those that want a white Christmas. But anyway, let's have a look at week four. Be the 18th to the 25th December. So the 18th to Christmas Day. Here we go. 
And again, that doesn't look great if you want to call Christmas. We've got above Abbey Heights. So we've got high pressure of Central and East Parts Europe. Low pressure is in the Atlantic. You will think that's going to be bringing up wind from a southerly direction. Now, albeit it's a weakening signal. Because we're going further out. The 500 millibar heights again. The above average heights to our east. That's probably going to be drawing up wind from the south. Could that produce some WAA though? Could that produce some warm air of Ooh, That's interesting to ponder, isn't it? Um, so our temperature goes up just a little bit above average. Um, precipitation wise still looks rather on the wet side, albeit yes, it is a weakening signal. Okay, <laughs> go to Christmas week, week five. Be the 25th of December to the 1st of January, so Christmas Day, two years day. This is it. Oh, oh, very, very weak signals now. Very weak signals. Chop it below, maybe in over scanty. Otherwise, there's not much to be seen there. 500 millibar heights. Well, I think that hints at a westerly flow establishing both low pressure in the North Sea, high pressure down towards Spain, um, maybe strengthening the westerlies. Temperatures a little bit above average through the Christmas week, last week of the year. And uh, precipitation, so average is slightly above average. Right, well, week six is going to be the first to the 8th of January, New Year's Day, to 8th of January 2024. Let's have a look, 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 let's have a look. Oh, oh, that could be a little bit more interesting though. So low, lower pressure looks like it's centering more to the east of us, although there is no particular block oh the 500 bit of our heights look quite interesting as well definitely hints of a scandy trough combined with a mid-atlantic ridge now could that force the wind into the north da, 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 da. Temperature, I'm so sorry, everybody. Temperature anomalies. Okay, I'm getting ready for the pub run live. You see, I'm doing pub run live later. So uh, I'm getting myself in the mood. You know, you just got to get in the mood, especially at my age. Takes me a while to <laughs> get myself, you know, get myself going. Um, anyway, no, uh, but problem and average across Scandinavia there through the first week of January. Um, and to probably see the temperature. I'm going to get myself into trouble. Probably see the temperature anomaly easing back for us. And as far as precipitation goes, well, look at that. It's wetter than average to average. <laughs> Driving an average out to the northwest. So uh, I reckon that could be hinting at like a colder northerly flow establishing in the new year. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Wouldn't it be an interesting start to 2024? Ooh, well, let's see about that. So, uh, the upshot is it's like cold before Christmas, it's cold after Christmas, but wouldn't you know it? Ow! Over Christmas itself, it actually turns mild. Typical. Never mind. But it's just a snapshot of what Molly showed look, could look completely different when we look at this again uh, next week, either for the European Outlook on Tuesday or for the UK and Ireland Focus video, which will be on Saturday um, next week. The reason it's been pulled back to today, by the way, uh, is that tomorrow we're going to have the uh, third and final season round at Winter 2023 24 at 10 a.m. So uh, so that's the reason that this is uh, being, uh, being viewed, being released today on Friday morning. Now, normally you'd have to wait like 24 hours to see, well, normally you'd do January Friday first, and maybe do this one on Saturday. you had to wait 24 hours to see how they're comparing. Actually, today, you're only going to have to wait a couple of hours, and then January Friday will be appearing. You'll be able to see what the Japanese and the CFSB two models are predicting um, for December as well. Following that, the be a 10 to 14 day with all our regular features and then we shall be live tonight at half 10 with the pub run 
So I'm like, you can convey about again today. Please like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody. See you later on for Jamie Fry. Thanks so much for now. And thanks for watching.